Good morning everyone! For today's video, tuturuan ko kayong gumawa ng table of specifications using Bloom's Taxonomy na magagamit natin sa summative test and quarterly exam. Tara, umpisahan na natin. Nandito yung topics, number of days, percentage, number of items. So sa topic, isusulat natin dyan yung mga aralin na natakel natin sa quarter exam na yun or sa summative test na yun. So, halimbawa, module 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the number of days, yung numbers ng araw ng tinuro natin, it is based sa ating BAO or budget of work. And then here is the percentage. We have here also the number of items. Okay, and how to get the percentage? It is, so lagi natin tayo mag-umpisa sa equals, number of days divided by total number of days and then times 100%. So, kung papansin nyo, naglagay ako dito na parenthesis kasi kapag dalawa na yung operations na gagawin natin, kailangan nating lagyan ng parenthesis. Okay? For the module 1 or the reading 1, we have 25%. So, the same thing Gagawin natin sa Aralin 2 or Module 2, Aralin 3, and Aralin 4. Until we get the total number that is 100%. Again, the formula to get the percentage is number of days divided by the total number of days times or multiplied by 100%. So, sa Aralin 2, nakakuha tayo ng 31.25%. Sa module 2, rather sa module 3, we got 25%. So, mapapansin nyo, pareho kasi ng number of days, kaya pareho ng percentage. So, now, sa module 3, the same thing. Okay, so there you go. So, para sa module 4, we got 18.75%. Now, the total is 100%. Now, let's proceed to the number of items and how to get the number of items. So, it is percentage times the number of test item divided by 100%. So, example, C9. So, C9, it's the 25%. And then, we're going to multiply it by 50 items kasi yun ang number of items ng exam ko. Kung kayo ay summative test nyo is 25% or quarterly exam nyo is 25 items and then ang quarterly exam nyo is 60 points or 60 items, dun nyo yun multiply. Okay? So now, sa ating module 1, para sa percentage ng 25%, the number of items is 13 only. So, the same thing sa ating module 2, 3, and 4. Teachers, always remember, unahin ang paggawa ng tables of specifications bago kayo gumawa ng exam. Kasi, para ma-distribute nyo properly yung inyong mga questions. Okay, so now for the module 2, we have number of items is 16 only. And then the same thing with the module 3 and module 4. So, dapat ang total natin is 50 items. Okay, now let's proceed. So, para na sa module 4, we have the number of items na 9 only. And then the total number is 15. So, ito na yung ating item placement. So, makikita nyo, meron tayong remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluate, and creating. So, this is part of the Bloom's Taxonomy. As you can see here, under remember, we only have 12%. Understand, 19%. Apply, 23%. Analyze, 20%. Evaluate, 17%. And create is 9%. So, bakit may mga percentage dito para hindi puro ang exam ninyo ay remembering or understanding? So, 
dapat ma-distribute natin properly ang mga questions natin sa ating mga estudyante. So, paano ba pagkuha ng 12% ng remembering or remember? So, the number of items, we're going to multiply it by 12%. Okay? It is 2. So, 2 items lang ang ilalagay mo sa test mo na under ng remembering para hindi masyadong mahirap o masyadong madali ang exam mo. Now, let's proceed sa understanding. So, the same thing. Number of items, multiply it by 19%. The same thing is dalawa lang ang questions na ilalagay mo doon. And for the apply, 13 times 23% is 3 only. So, 3 items. And then, analyze. 13 multiplied by 20% is 3. For evaluate, 13 multiplied by 17% is 2. And for create, so we have here now 2, 4, 7, 10, 12. Okay, 13 multiplied by 9%, it is 1. So it means... 13 points na meron tayo or 13 items na 2 sa remember 2 sa understand 3 sa apply analyze 3 evaluate 2 and create is 1 so we have 13 items para sa module 1 so the same thing with the module 2 3 4 Ayan, almost done na tayo. So, let's check. Let us add yung mga remember natin. So, we have for remember, we only have 6 items para hindi lahat nasa remember part ng tanong natin. So, pag gano'n mataas ang remember mo, is more on content lang or more on memorization ang exam mo. So, huwag na, iwasan natin yung mga ganong bagay. Okay, for the understand, so we have 10 and apply, we have 12. For analyze, we have 10 and evaluate is we have 9. For create, we have 5. So, now let's add kung 50 items ba ang lalabas sa ating mga questions. Okay, so there you go. Exactly, we have 50 items. Okay, now, we are going to put the item or the test placement. Dito sa number 1, test 1, halimbawa, diba, we have num uh, two items, so remember? So, we have test 1, numbers 1 and 2. So, understand, test 1, numbers 3 and 4. So, apply, test 1, numbers 5, 6 to 7. 5, 6, and 7. For analyze, test 1, okay, we have 7 to 10. So, kasi tatlo lang yun nandun. So, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So, thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe sa aking YouTube channel. I hope you learned something from it today. Bye, everyone!